the world is yourself pushed out. Ask yourself what you want and then give it to yourself. So Neville Goddard in this quote says that every event, everything that happens to us happens because we assume that it will happen. So what is inside of us, our assumptions, our way we see the world is pushed out. 3D is a reflection of what we live inside. This is what he means with this quote. And this doesn't just apply to things, to events that happen. This also applies to people, okay? Not everything, but also everyone is you pushed out. Because the way that you interact with these people, the way that you assume that they will interact with you, is exactly what you're going to see in this world. And this is also the very first step of how to stop caring what other people think. Knowing this, what I just told you, reminding yourself of this principle that everyone is you pushed out. They only interact with you, they only appear in your reality this way because you assume that they will, okay? You assume that people are going to judge you, you assume that people are going to care for your failure, that people are going to be mean towards you, that people don't have good intentions towards you. Ditch this, ditch this assumption, okay? Only harbor good assumptions. Only repeat good assumptions in your mind. Only have good conversations with people in your mind. I know everyone has this. Everyone has conversations, like imaginary things, imaginary scenes in their head playing that involves other people. Make these imaginary things good. Make them as beautiful, as good, as beneficial to you as possible, okay? So if you have a particular person in mind that you always care about what they think, you will start having conversations with this person in your mind that show you yourself, your subconscious, that you don't have anything to fear. This person loves you, they think you're awesome, and they think everything you do is amazing. This is the only thing that you are going to imagine from now on. If you don't have any particular person in mind, you do that in general. Like, people in general love what I do. So you ask yourself what you want, and that is you want to stop caring what other people think, or better yet, you want them to think amazing things of you, and then you are going to give it to yourself. And giving it to yourself means, in this context, that you change the assumptions that are going on inside of here, and then the world will also give it to you. Like the world is going to mirror what is going on inside of you, because it is whatever is going on inside of you pushed out. Inevitably, this is going to happen. Like, there is no other way. Change your assumptions, see the change outside. Don't try to change the person that you have a problem with. Don't, change, don't try to change the world around you. Always start with yourself. Sometimes changing these assumptions is easy. Sometimes it is absolutely no problem. For some people, it is like they just have to hear this once and they're like, oh my god, this is that easy. I'm going to try it. They try it and they reap the benefits. But sometimes it could be that it is a bit harder for you to change these assumptions. Like you try assumptions, like you try to change them, but you feel like something is off and you have problems doing it. And this may be due to you having some deep setting trauma that is causing these assumptions. Like a deep setting trauma, maybe a childhood trauma, or an early adult trauma, maybe something that happened recently is stopping you from changing the assumption that other people are not friendly, that other people think that you are incompetent, that other people think that you are a bad person, whatever, whatever. If you have this problem that you can't just change your assumptions about that, that you tried and it's just not working and you need a bit deeper work on this topic, then we're going to tackle this issue with shadow work and after shadow work, revision. So you're going to, for shadow work, you're going to grab your journal and a pen and you're going to write down the prompt. What event in my past causes me to care about what other people think of me? Prompt number one. Prompt number two. What event in my past causes me to think that other people think badly of me? You're going to write these two prompts down. You're going to reflect on these two prompts for a few minutes and you're going to get answers. Memories will pop up. 
Sometimes these are apparent things that you already knew and sometimes the memory that is going to pop up is some minor thing that you were not even thinking about consciously, but somehow giving you these prompts, this thing comes up. So you write all of these memories down. Sometimes these are several memories, sometimes it's just one and you write every memory down that comes to mind. And then you're going to close this journal and go straight into revision. You're going to lay down, close your eyes and think as vividly as you can. Imagine as vividly as you can this memory or memories that you wrote down. Exactly how they happened, exactly to the T how they happened. Like relive that moment. Do that a few times, like about three or four, five times in, it is not going to feel as as embarrassing as badly as it does the first time you do this. So the first time you imagine this, it could be that bad, bad emotions come up inside of you. But the more you imagine this over and over and over again, and the moment you get to this point where you start to feel like this is not as bad as the first time, you are going to change this memory how you would have wanted it to occur. Okay, how you would have wanted it to be. So let's say you have a memory of your mom calling you incompetent or you are always so clumsy, whatever the memory was. And you're going to change this sentence your mom told you to something beautiful that you would have wanted to occur. So make your mom say, I love you. Everyone makes mistakes. This is totally no big deal. Everything is going to be fine. You are perfectly competent. You are perfectly able. Something along the lines of that. And you are going to now revise this memory that you have in your childhood to something that is better serving you. Revise it over and over and over again until you don't want to anymore, until you feel like, okay, this is enough. You do this revision work however often you think you need it. And in no time, you're going to be able to change your assumptions about other people. And you're going to stop what other people think of you because you know that you have to power to change the way they think of you. You are perfectly equipped to make this a reality. To stop what other people think of you is totally easy to you now. Just try it out. Just pick a person in your life that you have like personal beef with and do these techniques. Change your assumptions about how they will interact with you. Assume that they have like nothing but friendliness towards you, that they are unconditionally loving towards you and you will in no time see how real it proves to be. I know you got this, I know you don't care what other people think because you're now equipped with this knowledge. I love you, bye.